Right, everyone, this is apparently the best experience you can get in sim racing. Hang on, I was meant to race it, but like, look at these lads up here taking photos. Cut the cameras. There is a crazy amount of detail here. Look at the vista. This is what everyone is saying. The incredibly detailed new Lake Louise track in Gran Turismo 7 in PlayStation VR 2. I don't think you've seen this anywhere else. You're going to see it here first. Let's get straight into it. Is it a Forza killer? Let's see. Right, here we go. I'm ready to have my mind absolutely blown. This is my car in real life. Oh, I'm in my car. I'm in my car. And oh my. I have it. You're Look at my lip. That's my favorite thing. I tell you what, it is true what they say. When you're in VR, holy moly. I just want to chill for a little bit because you just would not appreciate any of this detail. Oh. Oh my goodness, the draw distance. Hang on a second. I was meant to race it, but like, look at these lads up here taking photos. Cut the cameras. There is a crazy amount of detail here. Look at the vista. Look how far you can see in the draw distance. That's part of the track up there. I've been lucky enough to, to go skiing on mountains. And I'm getting the vibe here. I'm, I'm getting the vibe that I'm sort of, yeah, in one of these areas. Oh my goodness me. Is it coming across in the video? This is actually... If you have a PSVR 2 headset, I'd say you actually need to try the This is uncanny. I've got the um I've got the Phantom Glow. Oh. I've got the Phantom I I stole this car. Oh yeah, that's my favorite thing. Even very mundane objects like this thing. Look at this thing. It's a cable car. Thing. There's people walking up the hill. This is a very uncanny experience. This is like if I took my car to Lake Louise. This is what would happen if I had bought the French version of this car, left-hand drive. Uh, cheers, Jeff. There is so much detail here. It's, it's too much. They didn't need to go this hard. There's some sort of um, apre up there. Look at that satellite dish. We've got some snowmobiles. They've rendered snowmobiles and snow cleaners. Look at all that. Fairy lights. There's people walking over the damn bridge. Spectators here what wearing, are what are you, doing? you know, like um, winter clothing. There looks to be some jail cells here. I don't know what's going on in those. Porter cabins. How do you get it. down from there? Stuck. Stuck. Let us know. But I had the very first Xbox. I had a game called Amped. It was a snowboarding game. It was a launch title for the Xbox. But if you had a PlayStation, you probably had SSX. But those sort of games in the snow. There's something about video games in the snow. I'm thinking like 007 Nightfire, that opening mission in the snow. You need snow in games. There's just something about it. This is a big, big, it feels like a big area. And now I think about it, a lot of tracks don't. Even when you go to Spa, this is, a, when I went to Spa in real life, um, Spa Frankenstein's in Belgium, the draw distance in real life, even just looking from the pit complex over to like Puon over there is like a massive amount of distance and you don't get that in a game whatsoever. This feels like a huge, oh my goodness, look at those mountains in the distance. Look at those mountains in the distance. My word. PSVR 2 is very, very, very special and I'm very disappointed that they don't just make a few quality of life tweaks, like having one button to hide the HUD. Kaz, if you're watching, please, one button to hide the HUD will make all the PSVR 2 people very, very happy. Please do it. And look, we've got dynamic weather here. The weather is changing. The sun is setting over the hill. Oh my, this is very, it's gonna get dark, everyone. Look at the cars coming by. I'm not sure they're showing in the mirrors, by the way. Is that a glitch? Oh no, here we go. Look, there's a car in the mirror. It's the Honda B. Don't sleep on the B. Oh, wow. Wow, wow. Is that the lake down there? I'll tell you what, Liffany Digital, they don't half our stuff. If they're gonna do something, they'll do it damn properly. My hand was moving there, but it wasn't moving in real life. 
Look at the wang. Hey yo, what the fuck? Why did they put a massive wang? What do you mean by that? On this uh, Mazda. Oh, it's a cute eSports Mazda. That's why. Esports means you put the wang on it. Look at that. I mean, what? oh my, VR is just so good. I've just come today. I've just done a league race in Formula One Super Formula cars at Interlagos, and it just reminds me just how special the and it's only going to get better. And but if you know, is there going to be a PSVR three? I, I don't know. But if there is, presumably it will get close to that 4K experience. This you have to let you have to have a little bit of imagination. In PSVR 2, like we all did growing up when we used to play video games, and they were 2D and top-down, but to us we were in magical, realistic worlds. I remember playing Red Alert, you know, and I was I was leading my army through the Cold War that had gone hot and stuff like that. Um, you know, I'm thinking back like to 007 Nightfire, those missions. It felt like I was in a movie, live action with Pierce Brosnan. You, know, you look back now, it doesn't look like that, but... Oh, look at the lot! Oh! This feels special. This feels like we're all going to go to an ice bar afterwards. And look, here's the... Here's the Kirith Community Racing Executive Lounge, the Alphard. By the way, if you're subscribed to this channel and you can subscribe right now, you automatically get a seat in the Kirith Community Racing Executive Lounge. I you might be there. Me. Who put basic Ollie on my Alphard? Who put Basic Ollie's here? Basic Ollie, get out of my Alphard! That's our Alphard! Hey! Chat! <laughs> Who's bees everywhere, this man? I can't I can't get away from this guy. One of the best damn YouTubers out there. Oh, whoa! 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 <gasps> No, I want to go again. I want to go at night time. That is genuinely stunning. I mean, this is incredible. Is this evening? Is this evening? When the sun's... Where's this out? Sun's over there. Let's try and race with these people. So we're going to have a mad... This is going to be a magical experience, everyone. As we're going to... The sun is going to set at a fast rate. Oh, it's another, it's another connoisseur in a Peugeot RCZ, the GT Line Edition. 200 brake horsepower from a 1.6 turbocharged. Oh, look at this. It's the Frey Bentos Mini. Yes, it looks like the frame rate is struggling a little bit, but there's a lot going on. There is, there's some level of particle. I mean, some absolute wizards at Polyphony. I, I bet you it was a small team of literal wizards have converted the whole game into PSVR 2. And I think it's one of the most criminally sort of underrated experiences in gaming today full stop and they, they don't help themselves by not doing some quality of life but given the latest sorry bro given the latest Gran Turismo 7 update was a lot of quality of life I'm hoping for the spec 2 VR please as a as a VR advocate and some I'm probably the only Gran Turismo YouTuber who still YouTubes in VR for my sins Look at this, right, the sun's coming down. I can feel it. I can feel it. Get those lights on. Get those purple lights on. It's also much more fun driving here than driving on dirt, I have to say. This is the best rally experience in Gran Turismo 7. And I love that they did it on the day that Dirt, EA Dirt, WRC, whatever it's called, came out. A big two fingers to EA that was from Polyphony. It's very serene as well. You know when you're in the snow, when it snows outside, or when you wake up and it's snowed? Um, Canadians watching this will be like, what are you talking about? It's always snow. But when that happens... Oh, this is just glory. This is at... Can you... Ex Let me know in the comments if you, can, if you can appreciate this. Look at the way the sun sets, and it's gone over... It's, it's set behind that crest, and it's lighting up the panorama there. It's very, very, very realistic in a way that not a lot of games do with their skybox. I mean, and and it's completely super, super superfluous, superfluous to the racing experience. This is this does not affect the on a cold numbers perspective. That does not affect the racing at, in any way. 
but from a human sort of emotional connection and you know we're all emotional creatures it is it, it is huge and that's been something that Kaz Yamauchi and Glyph it's basic Ollie again my guy in the 69 bus we could expect it frankly um but now you can see we looks like we really are going to dusk some of these lights have come up come on here now some of these lights have come on here that comes on it's really sunsetting now but it's when those purple i mean who chose to put purple here what a inspired choice i hope you're watching we appreciate you come on by the way vr fans what a huge vr video you're getting today love it Here's the Pantera that I've wide-bodied terribly. Ruined it. You can see my video on that. When we took about the ring. Oh, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Give me this in my veins, please. This is what I'm talking about. This, oh my goodness me. Oh my goodness me. This is a feeling. This is a this is an experience. This isn't something you can screenshot. This, this is. Oh, imagine the blizzard coming in. Look at the stars so accurately positioned by Polyphony Digital in collaboration with NASA. That I've never appreciated until now. I kind of appreciate it a little bit. Wow, we've got another lap chat. I say chat, this isn't that I'm recording this for you, viewer, right now. There is no chat. Look how the particles are illuminated by the lights. Oh my goodness, this is a lap we wanted, chat. This is a lap... Sorry, viewer. This is a lap we wanted, viewer. What's your name, viewer? Let me know. Let's make it a little bit more personal experience. Oh, and I'm driving my car in the game. And that's, that's the setting I have on my dash. I have the MPH so I can never speed. Um, normally I have some morning light, usually tyre pressure because I need to replace my tyres. Um, but and my tank is rarely that full, I have to say. Um, but this is a very special experience for me, I have to be honest. I have to be honest, this is actually quite an emotional experience. I even today, oh my god, today I was driving my car in this race suit, I was driving my car in this race suit back from my racing. <sighs> look at the illumination here, I know, look, I know those lights are low resolution, the actual assets and everything, I know everything here is pretty low resolution, I tried to make that point. But when it comes together like this, I, I'm not a, I'm not looking at the mirror. I'm not looking at the low quality. I'm just letting my mind sort of open, my mind's eye. I would say if I was in the Arctic Monkeys, and it's really capturing me here. And I'm just cruising. You can see I'm not racing here. I'm just cruising. This is a very special experience, and I implore you, if you had, if you bought PSVR 2 because you were misguided by all of the irresponsible reviews that a lot of people did, that I think are quite shameful. But if you bought it and then you put it in a drawer, you have to get it out now if you got Gran Turismo. Um, and this is why Gran Turismo need to keep adding weather to tracks it already have. You know, imagine if we had snow right now, rain, or something like that, some weather condition. It would be very, very, very powerful. And if they add some features to PSVR 2, like, um, you know, having standings and being able to hide the HUD. If there was more activity here, hello. If there was more activity here, it would really feel like a live. Ah! You got it? Yes. You got it? Cut the camera. I assume he's got it. I assume he's got it. 
It would really feel like a living, breathing place. This is a very special experience. Um, this is genuinely a very special experience, and I hope it comes across in this video that I hope is recorded. Because I'm in VR, so I can't tell. The whole computer may have crashed. But, yeah, it takes me back to playing games on the original Xbox. Um, and just having fun. And escaping. Escaping from the real world and the pressure of the real world. And relaxing in this virtual space. I think that is the essence of a good video game. So full credit here to Polyphony and Sony for giving us this experience. Um, oh my goodness me, I've just absolutely razzed my car there. What are you, what are you doing, AI? But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Please describe if you want to see more VR and let me know in the comments. And I'll see you. See you next time.